Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA Certification Guides. Also the webmaster of MCNZ.com and a couple other great sites such as uh, SCGA.com. If you want to get certified, head over there. Uh, please pick up a couple of copies of my book, charge them to your boss's expense account, and uh, I'd also suggest please click on a, a Google ad or two when you come to my website. Uh, help support the site and always nice to check out what my sponsors are up to. Anyways, one of the things I wanted to do right now was just do some work on this number guesser portlet that I've been iterating over um, over the last little while. And I want to add some portlet session support to this particular portlet. Uh, how does this portlet work? Well, basically, it's just a, a number guesser portlet. So it asks for a number. I say the number's three, and it says, no, it was five. Guess again. And then I guess again, and I guess five. And it just gives the same output. It's not really that intelligent. Um, but, you know, it's kind of neat, it's kind of functional, it does a trick, little portlet URL objects used in there, and some form handling. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to improve this so that I can keep guessing at a magic number, and a magic number can be generated randomly. And uh, when I guess the correct number, it gives me a message, and if I have to guess higher or lower, it provides some feedback to me. So I've actually got some code from uh, my book. I like to kind of use the code from my book just to make sure that it all works. Make sure it all compiles and works properly. Um, and I'm going to replace some of my old code with some code that works with the portlet session. I should mention that I'm going to be manipulating the portlet session inside of the render phase of a portlet. And that corresponds to do view, do edit, do um, help methods. I, I really should be managing the portlet session inside the action processing phase of a portlet. It's a, a bad practice to manage your session inside of the, the rendering phase. Uh, but I'm just trying to keep things simple right now and I'll, I'll add uh, action action handling a little bit later. But essentially, how does this uh, new iteration work? Well, as you see, I get the portlet session, and I check to see if there's a magic number in the portlet session. And if there's not, well, what do I do? So if there's no magic number in the session, well, I create one, system current time millis, percentage 9, plus 1. It creates a magic number between 1 and 10. Um, I then stuff that into the session. Um, I also stuff the number zero into the session as a user's guesses. I've got magic number all lowercase letter, guesses all lowercase number, and then a little message, hey, guess the number. So if the magic number is null, that means it's their first time coming into this particular portlet. Um, if it's not their first time into this portlet, uh, well, essentially what that means is they've guessed a number. And if they've guessed a number, we want to find out uh, what that number is and if it's right. So we kind of figure out what the magic number is, um, then we figure out how many guesses we've stored inside the session. Um, we increase that by one, throw that back into the session. Um, we actually get the number that was guessed by the user, and if the number that we hold is this value guess, so if the user's guess is actually greater than the magic number, we put a little message into the session, and the message is guess lower. Otherwise, into the session we put a little message that says guess higher, and you know what? If the user actually guesses the correct number, well, um, we say, hey, that's correct. Yeah, play again. And uh, what do we do? We put that message into the session. Even do a little bit of uh, uh, session handling here. We actually remove the magic number from the session. After all, uh, once you don't need a, a value in the session, you should remove it. And, uh, and that way it's not hanging around. So avoid session bloat. Then what do we do? Finally, we just forward to our number guesser.jsp page, which will display a dynamic message depending on whether they got the answer right, they need to guess lower, they need to guess higher. There's a couple little changes that I need to make to my JSP as well. And again, this will give me a chance to just confirm that all the code in my book does compile properly. I hate it when I pick up a book and try to do the examples and they don't work. So I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. I'm going to take a look at my old number guesser JSP give you a quick flash of that right there. Um, no information about a portlet session, nothing about a message on that particular page. What I'll do is I'll put in my new portlet code here. You notice that I get the message from the portlet session, so render request, I get portlet session dot get attribute message. Percentage equals just prints that message out, so it'll say guess higher, guess lower, start the game. Notice I have a, a little render URL, um, making sure that we link back to the portal. Uh, in future iterations, we're going to change that to action URL. Again, shouldn't uh, should trigger an action uh, URL as opposed to a render URL in form handling. But we're, we're getting there. Um, there's the number that's pulled out inside of the portlet session. You can see here we say we get the number, what they typed into that text field. 
Um, and also, we print out to the user, hey, this is the number of guessers that you've done. And we say request.getPortletSession, get attribute, guesses. And of course, guesses has to match exactly the value of guesses right here, all lowercase letters, all spelled exactly the same. In fact, I like to use cons constants for that, um, just to avoid any problems. Well, it looks good. Everything uh, seems to compile in this case. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on my number guesser portlet and say run on server after doing a, a file, save all, making sure that everything is saved. And, I don't know, maybe I'll have to, to redo this again, I'm not too sure. Oh, and the number guess report that is unavailable. Okay, I'm getting a port that unavailable. My sessions are all mixed up, so I'm going to restart that particular project. Number guess portlet. It is restarted. Close the window. Make no changes. There we go. It should work this time. I think something was messed up in the session there. Okay, well now we see a new window. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Um, and we actually have this little output here, number of guesses, and it's reading 0 from the session. Put in the number 5. It says guess lower. Put in the number 4. It says guess lower. Put in the number 2. 2 is correct. Play again. So this is all working very, very well. No, it never said guess higher. So let me do my little, oh, let me see, four, guess lower, five, guess lower, one, one is correct, well that's not very good. <laughs> okay, so let's play again, guess the number, five, guess lower, one, one is correct, jeez, I want to play again, guess the number, one, guess higher, there we go, five. Guess higher, 8. Guess lower, 7. Jeez, I can play this all day. There we go, 6 is correct. So as you can see, everything here seems to be working fairly well. There's a couple of usability issues that we can work on, there's no doubt about that. But the, the basic idea of the number guessing game is working. Now, one thing I do want to emphasize is that we are doing some session management inside of the the rendering phase of the portlet, we should be doing session management inside of the action processing phase. And that's something that we'll look at in a future iteration of the number guesser portlet. Anyways, as I said, I am the webmaster of pulpjava.com and mcnz.com. If you want to get Java certified, please pick up a couple of copies of my SCGA certification guide or pick up a copy of What is WebSphere. Um, pick up lots of copies, charge them to your boss. If you've got an expense account, you should be able to put five or ten books on that expense account fairly easily. Um, if you don't have an expense account, well, please head over to my site, check out what some of my sponsors are doing here. Um, maybe click on a, a Google ad or two and, uh, and uh, I don't know, help support the site. Anyways, that's it for now. The last thing I'm going to say is happy portal.